Hello everyone, welcome to my video, third video on uh, application of differential equation. So today we want to cover this particular question. Uh, not an easy question, you got to read carefully and then interpret the equation. So let's start off by writing this. You are given that a vat, a vat is a place where you mix chemical. It contains 500 kg of chemical A and 500 kg of chemical B. You are told that B changes into A at a rate. So that means A, a is increasing at this rate. Huh? Equal to 0 0.001 times product of A and B. Now, so basically what we want to write is, because B changes to A, that means A is increasing at a rate. So what we are talking about is, first of all, dA dt. equals to equals to see the word it equals to zero point zero 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 one times the product of A and the product of B right but if you look carefully here Y here represent a. So correctly, the equation should look something like this. dy dt equals to this. Let's put this as uh, 10,000, 10,000 for. Uh, A is y. B, oh. you can see B, B started with a... Uh, okay, how to express B in terms of... Uh, B in terms of A? Well, originally we have 500 kg of A and we have 500 kg of B. For B to convert to A, B minus whatever is converted. A is converted, so in this case it's Y. So we end up with an equation that looks like this. Uh, 1000 minus Y. And 10 to the power of 4, we can bring over the other side, it becomes 10 to the power of 4 dy dt. Okay, so the next step is, uh, once you've got the answer to the expression, the next step is just to solve the differential equation. Separate the variables, uh, that will give you something like this. dy here, and then we have 1 over y 1000 minus y and then put the integral sign put 10 to the power 4 outside equals to dt integral all right next step is to look for the limits all right initially find the solution to the equation initially we know t equals 0 the amount of a is only 500 when t equals to t, the amount of a is now y. So to solve this, we need to do a partial fraction on the left-hand side. If you look carefully, the partial fraction for the left-hand side will look something like this. Uh, fastest way is to use cover-up method. If the question doesn't specify in this case, you can actually just use cover-up method. It's a lot simpler. Okay, why is one thousand? Uh, why is one thousand? So one over a thousand. So we have a thousand here. That's about three uh, plus one thousand minus one dy equals to t zero and t. So the left side, I change the partial fraction. On the right side, I can just integrate straight away. Uh, you will notice that this is 10. Uh, integrate this will be ln y, modulus y. Integrate this should be minus sign, sorry. ln 1000 minus y. So, integrated already. Limits will be 500 and y. And this side will be t minus 0. 
So let's simplify this first before we proceed further. You end up with something like this. With the limits here, 500 and Y. Let's simplify further. Uh, we have this term. Minus ln, this will be 500, 500, 500 is 1, so ln 1 is actually 0. So the final answer that we obtain is this, 10 ln y over 1000 minus y equals to t. Okay, let's check whether this that's the answer that we require. They just say find the solution, so we don't have to express uh, y in terms of t. 14 to the point. Alright. The next part of the question is when will there be 900 kg? So that means 900 kg of A. So when y equals to 900 kg, you will notice that your t becomes this 10 ln uh, 900 over here. Uh, this one will become. 100 so that would be 10 ln 9 and the final answer should be what you should get 10 ln 9 that's the final answer we got it okay so the hardest part of this question is basically uh, writing down the differential equation that's a bit tough all right some of you may not see it. so actually here changes to a so we are talking about a D T here equals to this times the product A and B. B B we cannot leave in terms of B because our variable is A or Y. So B becomes whatever remains of B is how much A is how much B is converted to A. So let's assume that the amount converted to A is Y. So the, the amount of B is 500 minus Y. So this one represents B actually. This one represent A initially. Alright. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.